Uh, shalom, shalom, all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, 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 Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. And I'm my brother Mark, I'm from the Great Millstone, Jamaica, camp, with a lesson you to feed the potential electric spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Now, I think I'm going to call this lesson just a reminder, you know, just a reminder of what we are in. And um, who we worshiping, you know, um, you know the, the 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 prophecies as concerning the times, reminding our people who the devil is and what they are about to do, you know, to the Lord's people, and the fact that you have men out there that are supposed to be teaching Yahweh Shai, you're teaching their thing, their beliefs, their gospel, their whatever, you know, their own righteousness uh, and not Yahweh Shai's righteousness, being ignorant, willingly being ignorant of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai's righteousness, which is, which is madness, you know, it's, 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 it's pure madness and wickedness when you really look at the, the deeper root of the issue. No. This is the eye you can't see. Let me say that again. This is the eye you can't see. And I remember when they just started out here in Jamaica, struggling with numbers. No, this thing is not about having numbers. But what I have noticed is that they have grown, but not in wisdom, in reality. They have grown in numbers, but this is what the scripture said. Let's get the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 7. And this, this is John the Baptist speaking. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meat, for repentance so the word meat we're going to look up the word meat and the word meat from the greek and obviously you can't see it right here so i'm, I'm using something else right so this is the word the word uh, meat axios axios this is when having weight having the weight of another thing of like value Worth as such, right? Of like value, he says, be fitting, con conjures, corresponding to a thing of one who has merited anything worthy, both in a good and a bad sense. No, no. In the scriptures, as a matter of fact, let's let me get that scripture. Amos the third chapter. This is what the Lord said. Uh, Amos the third chapter. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O sons of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together? except they be agreed very 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 important question because personally speaking i'm not gonna i'm not gonna power a fish because i'm no i'm no fish you know a fish can't be my friend in any way shape or form because we don't see things on a level playing field we're not seeing things eye to eye no and in israel i'm not gonna power with a man that say the, the name of the Lord is not important or his name is Christ or no we worship Yahweh Shai Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and we will forever we're gonna put that those names on the forefront because by those names we are uh, we shall be able to be delivered because we have believed in those name, names through faith you understand not being a hypocrite having you <laughs> you having a Hebrew name but the Lord can't have one you know, stuff like that. No, the eye you can't see, you know. I have something here. So, l listen this bullshit, man. I left the church. I left the church. You can't 
on the streets of Warrington in almost 14 years, right? We are out there prophesying. And nobody has ever said that, I can ever say that they see us out there marching. Oh, we have left those church with police behind us. You know, because we are, you know, we are part of the state because we are 501c3. So we, we have all the rights to go to the necessary authorities and do that shit. Because that's not of the scriptures. When you go to the scriptures, yeah? When you go to the scriptures, you have never seen where Yahweh Shai nor his disciples, his 80 plus disciples, did that shit. They never did that because Yahweh Shai thing was, it's all about oh, teaching the gospel. That's what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was focused on. Yahweh Shai focused on preaching the gospel. You know, worshiping and magnifying his father to the best of his ability. He wasn't, he was trying to reap any glory unto himself, really. And the glory was his, <laughs> you know. And um, we followed that standard, you know, the standard of Yahweh Shai. Um, what he did, he went in the synagogue, he teach, and he went on the streets, and he teach. He went among sinners and publicans and harlots, and he teach, you know, and the ones that were to repent they repent they the lord did nothing extra to his ministry really you know to attract or to get onto him anybody you know there are times when the lord actually healed people and they wanted to follow him and the lord was like don't follow me you know you know go and go to the priest whatever whatever because he knew that they weren't part of the elect and he didn't want the unnecessary weight on him because he was carrying the burden of Israel on his shoulder, really, you know? He was carrying the elect on his shoulder and he, he couldn't manage a nigger in his presence, you know, doing nigger things consistently, man, you know? So the Lord had to ensure that he, what should I say? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He, he give himself a break at times where this thing is concerned. No, look, these men now, stupid as a mud. And you see, the thing is, is is their leadership because I will see this. We we watch videos with them doing that in in the states, whatever. Okay, but no, you take it here. You know what? Simple people that live here, man. The the amount of simple, stupid ass Jake that's gonna see this and say. Oh my gosh, this is this is what we're supposed to follow. Wow, this this is the way. This this has to be the way. That's not the way, you know. When they use, when they use these little stupid. If 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 you guys are doing this, and teaching you how to shy, then I would have nothing to say, you know, because I guess that would be your way of. Of calling in the sheep, but you're teaching Christ. And just listen, li just just listen to this video. Man. Just listen. Oh, oh, oh. No more, no more, no more, no more, not no more, not no more. Take care of our wives, take care of our wives, and our children too, and our children too. <laughs> Dreadlocks and shit. No more, no more. Take care of our wives and our children too. And our children. Oh, come on. We need the kingdom. That's not what we need right here. We need we need the kingdom. See, you guys aren't kingdom minded, but I but I have a reminder here for you. Yeah, I have a reminder here for you. And this is the reminder, right? Uh, radical Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Southern Poverty Law Center. That org. Let me read it again because I guess some of you didn't get the memo, or maybe because your leadership didn't point your fingers to a lot of you, you know, about the seriousness of what we're doing in and the times that we're living in, and who we should be fearing, and and giving all the glory and the praises to, you know, instead of being out there. Teaching about taking care of our wives, whatever, which is we're supposed to take care of our wives, but in truth and the fact, are these women our wives, man? You know? You you wash you what you guys worrying about the wrong things. We have more important things to worry about, right? So 
Uh, since the late 1960s, the radical Hebrew Israelite, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's something, the radical Hebrew Israelite ideology splintered to form increasingly anti Semitic, anti white, anti LGBTQ, xenophobic, and misogynist sect of groups who preach they and only they are the true Israelites of the Bible and uh, perpetu per the perpetuate the anti-Semitic belief that so-called Jews have stolen their identity and birth. Right? Bear me one second. One second. My brother, send me a message here. He's basically saying something about the digital system, the, the digital ID, you know, in South Africa, you know. Yeah, so, so lucky about that. Anyway, going back to the lesson, right? All right, disclaimer, all right? It says, Southern Poverty Law Center uses the term radical Hebrew Israelites to differentiate from the greater Hebrew Israelite faith. Hebrew Israelites should not be confused with black Jews or Jewish individuals of color. Right? I will show you the serpent. So Southern Poverty Law Center no longer refers to these groups as solely black Hebrew Israelites. As there are Latin and indigenous members of these groups. So they they have thrown out the, the, the black Hebrews are like and that's good. But but we ain't radical. We're just teaching what the we're not radical according to Esau's concept. You know, we're just teaching what the Lord said we're supposed to teach. That's all. Yeah, we ain't taking up well, I would say we ain't taking up guns, but we see men and, and videos and Whatever posing with guns on the streets, stupid ass niggas, man. It's stupid, you know. Not because the state said that you could do that. Come on, but wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. That's what our Lord said, man. You know, he says, um, uh, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center no longer refers to these group as solely black Hebrew lights. As there are Latin and indigenous members of these groups and there are non-radical sects of the Hebrew Israelite faith who identified as black Hebrew Israelites. The continued struggle of black indigenous people of color in America can find clear similarities in the narrative of Judaism. Um, particularly the book of Exodus. Um, pers pers persecution Displacement and enslavement mirror the BIPOC right? um, experience in many ways, both historically and systematically. Here in America, for most of the Hebrews that like committee, the similarity is a source of empowerment and not a cause for condemnation. For radical Hebrews that like groups, no, look, look at the difference. For radical Hebrews that like groups, however, the similarities are used as the foundation of their anti-Semitic belief, which that's bullshit because the word is Shemitic, or Shemitic, you know, which we are of the lineage of Shem. So how can we be anti-Shem when we are of the lineage of, lineage of Shem? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. But anyway, it says for the radical Hebrews are like groups, however, the similarities are used as the foundation for their anti-Semitic beliefs. Radical Hebrews are like ap ap appropriate biblical Jewish heritage to claim an exclusive identity as the true chosen people of God and dec decry Jews, Jews as the imposters and thieves. These groups seek a divine form of dominance rather than e equity. So once you're saying that you're the chosen people and the, 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 the so-called white man is not, you're radical. You know? I, I, you, I, you can't see teach that. 
Yeah, so whether you want to make a covenant with them, guess what? You're radical. That's, that's what this article is saying. You're radical. Eh? Uh, where was that? It says, but declaring superiority over all other nations, biblical terms for other races and ethnicity, and strict adherence to biblical literalism to legitimize their ideology, they spread their beliefs through street preaching, often verbally harassing, provoking, and, sh and shaming any non-Israelite and those of their own community who don't follow their beliefs. This can be harmful LGBTQ plus people of color within their communities, especially black, lesbians, gay, bisexual, or transgender individuals. Radical Hebrew Israelites have a def definite abhorrence of relationships between Israelites and Caucasian people as they relate them to the devil. Not only does this ideology further marginalize members of their community, but it also parallels toxic power structures that are common on the far right. And largely, I'm going to put this, this thing this in the comment in the description box that brothers can go and read also if they to read it and it, it goes down see and basically they are saying that we are radical you know oh well look at this uh, all right Let me read this part here. In, in October 2022, Kyrie Irving, who, <clears throat> who until recently played for the NBA's Brooklyn Nets, shared a link to the anti-Semitic film, Hebrews to Negroes, with his 4.6 million followers on Twitter. The 2018 film promotes the core belief of radical Hebrew Israelites that modern Jews stole the religious identity of black, Hispanics, and indigenous individuals who are pur purported to be the true and exclusive descendants of biblical Israelites. The film pushes enduring anti-Semitic troops about Jewish power and Holocaust denial, arguing that the Jewish people distorted historical facts to conceal their nature and protect their status and power when asked if he held anti-Semitic belief, Irving replied, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I am from. Irving's support for these beliefs and subsequent suspicions emboldened radical Hebrew Israelite groups. Following Irving's return, hundreds of members of the RHI group, Israel United in Christ, IUIC, gathered outside Barclays Center and chanted, we are the real Jews and disturbing anti-Semitic literature. Irving has since apologized for in a joint statement with the Anti-Defamation League and the Brooklyn Nets. Now see that? So you guys are classified, are being classified here as being radicals. Yeah? In reality, you ain't radical. <laughs> you're a lot of you are fools, man. You know, I'm just calling it as it is because you don't know what you're in. You know, you don't understand the times that you will live in, and you don't understand what you're doing. You don't understand that there, there is, there is ah. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me get that in second Ezra. Because you do not know what you're doing, man. Uh, uh, second is this, um, 16. Or 68. So this is just a reminder. Eh? Uh, second is 16, verse 67. says, Behold, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahashai himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever so shall the most i plead lead you salakia 
forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And that's not microchip. That, that, that groups like I, you can't see. Yeah. Um, feel to teach to the people what that is. You know, and find some other way to come up. See, that's that's what happened when you come up, not under Yahweh Shai, but under something else or someone else or some other deity. Because when you come up under Yahweh Shai, you can in no wise do anything but tell the truth. Because Yahweh Shai is the truth. He speaks the truth in wheresoever he goeth. You know, so it's all about Yahweh Shai and it's all about the truth. But if you are not about Yahweh Shai, and if you are not about the truth, you're gonna have problems, man. Right? You understand? That's what you're gonna be doing out there. No more, no more. Take care of our wives and our children, too. You know what about repent? Yahweh Shai is coming, man. He's gonna destroy this place. You know, stop being fishes and freaks and weirdos, and you know. You know, speak about the promise and all these nations going to slavery and, you know, and the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai and the Father's name is Yahweh and, you know, the, the truth about the matter in full effect. That's what you're supposed to be speaking. But nah, you guys want to do it another way. You want to establish your own righteousness, man. You know, verse 69 says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. For there shall be in every place and in and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Least you forget. I'm just reminding you through spirit and power of your how about Shemi Shai. Least you guys forget what you're in. Or if the or if the heads among you didn't tell you, we are telling you. That this is this is in this is this is no fashion show. What we're doing is it ain't no fashion show. Yeah, and it's no celebrity thing. It's not a celebrity thing. You know, you have to be serious about Yahweh Shai, not about the group. About Yahweh Shai. Put in Yahweh Shai that pedestal. You know? Because when he comes back, he's going to do crazy things, man. But before so, he's going to send the devil against our people. The so called white man, he's Edomites. He's going to send them against our people. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Protect your wife? You're going to protect your children by your own strength? Nah. And Christ ain't doing shit. Because Christ, he's dead. He, he fall asleep. You know? Christ is out there with all them, them hit the wall women that, that no man doesn't want. He's over there to the left. You know? Sucking them all up. And having all of them having a, a jolly time with them and their minds over there plaguing them. Man. You know? Anyway, it says, um, um, they shall be like madmen spearing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire hear O ye my beloved say the Lord behold the days of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you from the same be he not afraid neither doubt for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the patch thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the reality of what's about to come, of what's about to happen. These these men they would think that, cause when when it when you're walking around preaching, you know, take care of our wives and our children too. As I said, there's nothing wrong with taking care of a woman. You know what? That's not that's 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 not the subject right now. But if if that's what you te you're teaching, mm -hmm. the, the mass majority of these people that follow you're gonna believe that like, oh yes, that's the core of this. No, it's all about your have a shy man. You know. Give the Lord the credit. Don't take it. Don't try to take the Lord credit. The Lord say, oh, his glory will not give to another. 
So don't don't dare you try to take the Lord's credit, man. You know? You'll be judged for that and you'll be judged terribly. You know? So that's what I have to say through the spirit and powerful Lord Yahweh Shemi and I hope that this has been an edifying lesson. Shalom.